Hello YouTube, Katie Hill Farmer coming back with another farm vlog. Uh, today we're going to be fencing in the pond. I just wanted to show you guys a simple, easy way to put strainers on to fence. Uh, I fed the cows up there, they're going up right now. Uh, it's getting about that time of year. Uh, I'll give them a little bit of grain right now and then they'll get cut off again. Uh, for simple fact is they should be getting ready to calve here early november maybe we can bring that to you i'm not sure uh you know can't be a judge that one but uh anyhow you can see we put this up a good while ago to keep them out of the pond just a little a quick little fence uh i i was I, I let them down the pond and actually the 1613 which we talked about in a earlier video you know she got some sore feet but uh anyhow before we get into the video guys if you would go check out the uh facebook instagram and twitter at katie hill farmer also if you like what you see you you know you're thinking about farming you're wanting to get farm we uh we join you to uh subscribe to the channel uh short most time it's just uh you know everybody helping each other and that's what it's all about but uh let's go ahead and get into this like i said i don't think they actually been getting in there i'm not sure why they cleared up yet but uh they did get it trampled in but here are the strainers that we will be using and i love these strainers what what that is i don't know if you can see in there but that is like a chinese finger once you put that wire in there, I promise you it will not come out. Uh, I found these, I'll, I'll link them below, but they're 10 times easier to work with, uh, especially, you know, you only got two hands. But uh, anyhow, this is what you got. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking these right here. Uh, get these back out of there. See, I just put a quick crimping those we'll be taking those out i left more than enough that's why it's so loose so we'll get some cutters here we'll get it cut we'll get it tightened up now with this with this fence you ain't gonna be able to get it real real tight because you'll just pull it down so i uh, just looking for snugness all you're looking for but uh anyhow let's go ahead and get to it i'll find some cutters and we will get going and I'll show you how this works. I couldn't find my fence cutters, guys, because, well, I don't know why. Ooh. And these have must have got wet. Look at them. I can't even pull them apart. There they go. So we'll cut this right here. Then what you want to do is you'll take this. 106, 11, See, it's got a curb in it. That's what's making it. Okay. This went a little bit further through than what I wanted, but it's through that far. Now it's good. So you get your other wire. I got to put you back down because I ain't got enough hands. Which you get your tightening tool, put it in your back pocket. We have to cut this fence one more time since we got this in here. I know one thing, I wish I had some WD 40 with me or something. The <clears throat> high tensile cuts very hard. Now let's hope we have enough slack, which we should. have an overabundance I'll tell you that much okay. I 
like I said guys if you know an easier way of doing this I would be then once you get I can see it pulling the corner post over there. That's all there is to it, guys. That's what makes that thing so nice. It's a lot better than trying to freaking sit there with crimpers and hold everything. And They are a little bit more expensive, but well worth it in the long run. It'll save you time. Time saves you money. So there it is. We start pulling that corner post. That's why I stopped. And I'll walk around it here make sure there ain't no... I can pretty much see it all the way around here and don't look like there's no sags in it so we'll end up going to the next one but like i said these strainers i pick them up at my local farm store but uh very 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 handy like i said it's got a spring in there it's like chinese finger it just pulls it tight uh like i said they won't pull out i have them on my uh, primary fencing and I'm going to tell you what, that's got some pressure on it, and it has not moved. Uh, I've seen my post. You can see where the post have moved, but I've not seen anywhere the fence has loosened up because it has pulled out of this strainer. Now, in the long run, I can't tell you if they will be, you know, if they rust out or... I can't see it because, I mean, that... That almost, I mean, these are galvanized, but that looks stainless to me. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong. It's either that or aluminum. Maybe, yeah, it is aluminum, it looks like. But uh, anyhow, like I said, guys, in uh, the redo, the biggest reason I, I had to fence in this pond, because the 1613, I don't know if I finished telling you that, but the 1613 cow, actually, her, cat, her heifer calf's up there. Well, her heifer, uh, she kept getting in the pond. She got a sore foot, but it got to the point any time it got a little bit wet, which it didn't this summer, but I couldn't keep her out of it. And uh, so I fenced it. She was the one that got this all. And I put fly medicine on them, everything. And uh, like I said, this spring, she came out of spring with a sore foot. And, you know, sometimes you just gotta cut your losses so i did didn't want to had to but uh there you have it but anyhow guys thanks for watching like i said if you ever do high tensile fence go ahead and try to pick this up and we'll talk to you later katie hill farmers out